How am I meeting men? At 10 a.m. in my own house, in my own house, own house, on a Friday morning. They needed a stealth soldier, so I put my hands on the hibachi hot plate at Benihana. Then you're gonna call, you're gonna be like, bro, you gotta come out now. Who's gonna show up? Mike. 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 There's a man inside me, and only when he's finally out can I walk free of pain. Because there is not a man on this earth who would give a girl that he thought was ugly a second date because she had a great personality. Great personality. Personality. We can play this game all night. First of all, it's daytime, and this is no game. Checkmate. Oh, so you admit that you're checking me out and you want a mate. Hello everyone, welcome back to another short video. I have a few clips we're going to go over today. Before we get into this, if you would, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing here. We have two individuals we're going to be taking a look at. Now, this first clip we're going to look at is going to be reminiscent of a previous video I made where the woman met a I think it was her trash man that she ended up asking out on a date and he said yes this is going to be a similar a similar situation so uh this is going to be good so um let me go ahead and get this started again my name is rat boy and let's get into it Okay, <laughs> I just asked a man on a date. Right, scratch cornea, retainer still in. Fuzzy socks, fuzzy socks. Acne, flaring, okay? What was the answer? Absolutely. How am I meeting men? At 10 a.m. in my own house on a Friday morning? Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get about... Okay, I'm gonna stop her right there and I'm gonna just go ahead and say that uh. 99.9% .9 of men in their entire life will never be asked out by a woman on a date. This is just, uh, never, it's, it's not going to happen for, for, for men. They never get asked out. Uh, now I don't know this, this dude's situation, why he said yes, but, um, good for him, I guess. I mean, sure. Maybe, uh, or, or maybe he's going to ghost her later. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. But uh, let's continue uh, with the video. Let's get some more information and then let's uh, dive a little bit deeper. Seven to eight dog fur trees. You're going to plant them in your backyard relatively close to the home. Okay. Just like dangerously so. Wait about a hundred years. Let those puppies really get up there. Eventually they will just start decimating your gutter system on their own. <laughs> then. You're going to call. You're going to be like, bro, you got to come out now. Who's going to show up? Mike. Mike's going to be like, hey, I'm all done. You want to check it out? Here's where it gets interesting. I go back there. I check it out. I go, excellent craftsmanship, sir. Well done. He goes, yeah, thank you. If you need anything else, give a shout. Ask for Mike directly since I know what's going on. Say less, Mike. I was like, I do have a quick question, though. Um okay, so she called this guy. He came and cleaned her gutters. Fair enough. I mean, I guess. And she, uh, I'm, I'm guessing she asked him out or asked for his number. This is wild. Let's, let's continue. I haven't, um, I haven't seen this yet. Um, if I were to reach out and ask if Mike was free for a beer sometime, he goes, absolutely. I go, okay, would you want to take my number? Bro, phone's already out. Ready. He leaves within minutes. The text rolls through and he doesn't even know like how unreal this glow up is about to be i mean it's not gonna okay mike i don't know you but uh i'm worried i'm really worried uh yeah I, you know this lady she works from home she obviously needed her gutters clean mike comes in cleans the gutters she asked him out he said yes um i'm worried about mike I'll be honest with you uh, this, uh, and I'm be even more honest here. Um, this lady is not that attractive. So Mike is probably down bad, like big time. Um, uh, 
but hey, good for Mike. You know, he's going to take this lady out. They're going to have a time. Uh, and, you know, maybe if she put... You, look, I don't like using the number system to grade uh, women's looks, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use it here. I give this woman about a one. She's a solid one. Okay, 1.5. Sure, why not? 1.5. She stays in shape. 0.5. Sure, why not? Uh, Mike's down bad. He's down bad. He's 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 dry. He needs something. So he got her number. Sure, why not? Um, I'm gonna assume that the end of 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 the interaction with Mike is gonna end with him ghosting her. But uh, you never know. <laughs> You never know. These women, they're asking out garbage men. The last woman asked out the garbage guy. This lady asked out the gutter guy. I mean, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, insane, but like, this isn't the swan. But foundation will be applied. And the retainers? Coming out. I hope so. Mm, shit. So to everyone who's like, you can't just sit at home and wait for a man to come to you, fuck off. Fuck off. I'm really tired of the internet telling me what I can and cannot do. This has been your Friday morning PSA. If you want to shoot your shot, just fucking go for it. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. Shoot your shot. Uh, no, very, uh, men don't get asked out. You know, uh, let me know, fellas, if, if you've ever been asked out by a woman, just put, put it down in the comments. Let me know the situation because I've never been asked out ever by anybody. So, uh, this is just, uh, it, it's something that happens very rarely and obviously it happens. And then these individuals post about it on social media. I need to dive a little bit deeper with this and find some more, uh, videos like this, because this is a uh, very interesting to me, this whole concept of women asking out garbage men and, and gutter guys and, and, and making videos about it. Very intriguing, but men don't get asked out. So maybe it's just like, sure. He's going to take you out on a date. You got some uh, content out of it. Congratulations. Um, honestly, I, I, I'm I'm scared for Mike because, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you saw the video. There, there's a lot going on here, but let, let, let's continue. Dude, what's the worst that was going to happen today? He says no. Okay, no problem. I now have a clean downspout I can cry into at any time I want. <laughs> She's kind of annoying too. She just, this whole, this is just a very annoying person. So I, I don't think Mike knew what he was getting into, but uh, Mike, be careful and um, stay safe and, it, you know, just uh, wear a Jimmy hat, please. I'm thriving. Okay, this next video is, um, actually, I, I don't know what this is about. Uh, it's some woman uh, ranting about being ugly, I think. But let's get into it and we'll we'll figure it out together. We are dating like men in 2024, okay? Because there is not a man on this earth who would give a girl that he thought was ugly a second date. Because um, That literally happens all the time. Men will... Uh, some men, you know, you, you have the top percentage of guys that will go for the hottest, uh, most attractive, most in shape women. Absolutely. But there are a, a large percentage of men that if a woman has a good personality, a good sense of humor, uh, they, they can look past the the looks and everything and, and accept that woman for what she is. Um, a lot of women can't do that with men. But let's continue. She had a great personality. There is no man who would go home to his friends and be like, look, she's not really cute, but she's got a great personality. Yes, absolutely. Men do this. This is what I'm talking about. These, they don't know what they're talking about. Men have literally wifed up women that are not that attractive because, for one thing, they... The fact is that um, women that aren't very attractive have to have other parts of themselves that are attractive, usually personality, sense of humor, uh, they develop better skills, and a lot of them have lower body counts because they haven't been with a lot of dudes. It's just common sense.
So these guys will, you know, a, a large majority of men will go after these women. That's just the way it is. So this whole concept that, oh, men won't, I mean, the chads won't, absolutely. The, the top percentage of men that are dating models and stuff, they're not going to. Let's be real. You know, they can get the, the top percentage of women uh, and, and several of them at a time. So they're not going to waste their time with this. But normal dudes, definitely. Definitely. This woman has, <laughs> I just noticed this screenshot. I, I pause. That's perfect. Uh, <clears throat> that's funny. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Melanie is really close with her mom. And look, so any if you woman don't think that he's cute, like, he's not getting a second her date. eyes like this. It, she has crazy eyes. Like this woman cannot be trusted. Like, just don't turn your back on someone like this. Like be safe. Hell, he's not even getting a first date because men sure as hell are not out here doing that for us. The only date men we f They're not doing it for you. The men you choose are not doing it for you because you think you're a uh, 9 or a 10 and at best you're a... Um, again, I don't like using the numbers, but I mean, come on. She is nowhere near a 9 or a 10. She's probably going after the, the top percentage of dudes. And yeah, they're going to treat you like... Uh, they see you and they definitely don't see you at a nine or a 10. You're a lot lower than that. A lot lower. I think are hot because and she, she's a round one. You can tell she's kind of round, but let's continue. Look at you. You are stunning. And you know that no man is having to make any compromises when it comes to you and how you look. So don't compromise you. See, Women do this a lot. They kind of gas each other up. Tell them that. They're, and look, not all women are 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 pretty. I mean, let's be real. I mean, uh, it's just not going to happen. And then this one. I mean, look, I don't like talking bad about people, but I mean, she does not have a lot going for her. She's kind of annoying. She's uh, she has a. a I'm not going to talk about her forehead. I'm not going to do that. Let's continue. You deserve to be with someone just as hot as you are. That is what you deserve. No, you don't. You don't deserve anything. You you deserve absolutely nothing. Nobody deserves anything. Women think they deserve stuff just because of like, oh, well, I think I'm hot, so I deserve that. No, you don't. You, you deserve jack squat. Perfect. So the next time a Chad approaches you on a dating app and wants to take you out for a coffee on a... You'll say yes. If a Chad's going to take you out, you'll definitely say yes, and you'll probably go home with him because you like the attention. And then once you get that first Chad, you get that first top percentage guy because he was bored one night and just wanted to hit you up and knew it'd be an easy... Easy, uh... Easy lay then um he won't be back because you know he can you know he, he was just bored but you will then think that you're worthy of every chad of every top percentage dude that's kind of like what it's called being alpha widowed is whenever the the chad pumps and dumps you and you're looking for that next next chad but the next chad's never going to come and you're going to be alone with eight cats and possibly some STDs. Let's continue. Saturday, respectfully decline because you're a 10. You're not going to decline and you're not a 10. <laughs> you're definitely not a 10, Jesus. You're stunning. So don't put yourself through that, please. Okay, I'm, I'm going to end the, this is This is the delusion here. She just keeps rambling about being a 10 or whatever she's talking about. This is the delusion that is on TikTok, is on social media. These women, they, they gas themselves up for no apparent reason. And, th and then, you know, you have all these threes and fours walking around thinking they're nines and tens. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a circus. It's a circus and they're the clowns. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. That's going to be the end of this video. Um, catch you guys later. Rap boy out.